I'm back talking to my desktop. Uh, had the flu. Haven't been very active on this account. But uh, hopefully I'll change that around now. Uh, basically, I got the flu. I installed an SSD. I put Windows 7 on it. And pretty much put, put all my stuff back on. I've uh, been working on the website and various projects uh, so haven't really been able to do much other than that and that's why I haven't made any tutorials lately uh, the following tutorial is not a suggestion it's just something cool I thought I would show you guys because it's really worth looking into uh, for some nice depth in your animation so we'll go and open After Effects and take a look at what we're going to be creating So as you can see, the camera moves up and it focuses on the text in the background. And this is really easy to achieve, so um, we're going to start with creating a new composition. So composition, new composition, 1280, 720, 30 frames, 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Now I'm going to start out by creating our background, so layer, new, solid. This is going to be a very light gray. And name this BG. Now I'm going to create a black solid and I'm going to name this vignette. And with the vignette selected, we're going to go up here and by default it'll look like this. You want to just hold and drag until you see the ellipse tool and then let go of your mouse. So with the vignette selected, double click on the vignette or the ellipse tool and this should pop up. And in mask one, you want to put it to subtract. Okay, and now drop down mask one, put the expansion out, and put the feather up. So now we have this soft vignette in the background, or in the sides. So we're going to go ahead and add our text now. I'm just going to write some text. And I'm using Decker with a dark, dark gray. And you can find Decker on Google. I just bring up our action safe here. We can center this. And now we want to go ahead and make this text 3D. So there we go. And now we want to hit control D with some text selected. And what that does is it duplicates it. So if we now go into top camera view and move this blue slider back, we're essentially moving it back in our Z space. So in our comp. Go back to active camera here. And now you can see it's in the background. So that's pretty much what we want so far. Now we're going to go ahead and do the complicated stuff, or the not really complicated stuff, the stuff that's going to require some work. So go to layer, new so, uh, camera, and 35mm preset. That's fine. Click OK. Now I'm going to use a null object to control the camera, so I'm going to go layer, new, null object, and name this dolly, as in camera dolly. And making sure this is a 3D layer, it's very important. Take the parent tool or the pick whip and pick whip it to the dolly. So now if we move the dolly, we move our camera. Simple concept, just make sure it's 3D, otherwise it will not work. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, go into dolly and go into transform. And at zero seconds, we're going to go ahead and set the keyframe for the position. Move forward to about four seconds and move it up. basically all that's done is made an animation that goes up and it stops very abruptly we're going to fix that by highlighting them and hitting F9 for easy ease keyframes so now it smoothly starts and smoothly stops I'm going to add a small expression to our position by alt clicking so hold alt and click on position and it will bring up this expression box now what we want to type in here is we want to type wiggle parentheses 2 comma point point 5 and parentheses so now we have very small wiggle in our position movement if we fast forward here we can see it so basically we're done with our animation and now we're going to set up the depth of field which is what this tutorial is about all about so go into camera camera options put the depth of field to on and basically we're going to go to about 
two seconds when that sum text starts getting into view. And we're going to set a keyframe for blur level and focus distance. Now I'm going to set the blur level to something around 400 ish. That looks good to me. We're going to move forward. So basically it's out of focus. And then we're going to move forward to about, to about here. And we're going to basically change the focus distance. Now you can hold shift if you want to do this quicker. And we're going to change the blur level. Basically you want to fine tune the focus distance to have your text in focus. So now that that's done, let's RAM preview. So as you can see we have some really nice depth of field going on there. And you can do this with any object that is uh, in 3D space. Because that's the way the camera works. It's just that easy. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, if you want to ask any questions, head over to our forums, artificialanimation.com forward slash forum. And uh, check out our new site that's been in production. Uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And um, that's about it.